Hey guys, today I am adding to the designer and dupe series that I started actually a couple weeks ago where I find affordable alternatives to designer brands or like one of you mentioned, fancy finds on a dime. I actually added that to the title of this series because I just thought it was so cute. I do plan to branch out into other brands for this series, but at the moment I am really just enjoying finding dresses that resemble Love Shack Fancy. I think it's just because of the time of year that we're in, it's just very relatable right now to find really pretty dresses, especially since I do own a few pieces from Love Shack Fancy and I've been trying a ton of their pieces this past year. I just feel like I have a really good idea as to what I'm looking for and what to keep an eye out for the type of styles that are shown at Love Shack Fancy. If you aren't familiar with Love Shack Fancy, it's a designer clothing brand. They have the most beautiful, romantic, and unique styles, but they're very, very expensive. You can find a lot of pieces secondhand for a really good price. And also if you just wait for Love Shack Fancy to have a sale on sale, type of thing, you can find some really pretty pieces at a very reasonable price. It's just a matter of right timing, waiting for those sales and everything. But sometimes I lack that patience to wait for this brand because actually my size tends to sell out really fast. I typically have to go with a large and extra large with Love Jack Fancy Styles and those just sell out really fast. I hope they just expand their their size ranges because that would be really nice. I do have a few dupes that I'm gonna be sharing with you that I have recently added to my closet. And when I say recent, I mean within the past like three days. <laughs> they literally just came in the mail. I tried them on so I could just give you my thoughts on them and everything. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you today. They are still that very high quality, but they are a much better price point for those of us on a budget. Before I get right into sharing these with you, if you are new here to my channel, I have new videos up for you every Monday and Friday. If you wanna see more from me, don't forget to subscribe and then click that little notification bell as well. That will just remind you what time my video is gonna be up for you every Monday and Friday. All of my content is very similar to this. Lots of romantic videos, styling, unboxings, try on hauls. I am loving this new designer dupe series. So don't forget to do all that. Like the video if you are continuing to really like this series. It just really helps my video get out there. It really helps my channel out. And yeah, let's get right into it because you all are going to love these dresses that I found. I'm gonna share with you the dupes that I found from River Island first. I've always been really impressed with River Island in the past. I've purchased from them before several times, but recently their new arrivals have been the ones that I have been the most impressed with, with any brand that I've been just looking out for with their new arrivals. River Island is doing the best job. They all look designer. It's incredible. I've just been so impressed with their stuff. I cannot stop going to the new arrival section because I keep on spending money on there and I need to stop. As I was sitting down to like finish off my thoughts for this video, I got on their website and I ended up purchasing something again. I need to stop. I just need to get this video over with because I keep on buying stuff. The first dress that I found a dupe for is for the Desra Silk Mini Dress on the Love Shack Fancy website. This is a newer style and it retails for $475, oh, $495. Get those dollars in there. River Island has this very similar style on their website right now for $78. The dress has that same cotton candy tie-dye look, but this one from River Island is much more vibrant, it looks like, than the one on the Love Shack Fancy website. It has that same eyelet and embroidery on the dress as well. I mean, this thing is so detailed. It does not look like something that is at this price point. This looks like something that would be on Philly Boo or Love Shack Fancy. It's just so detailed. I can't get over it. I'm just so impressed with this one. I actually I prefer the embroidery on this dress because it has the florals on it. The one from Love Shack Fancy, if you look closely, it's a beautiful dress, but it also looks like it's just like a plain eyelet style. This one actually has the florals on it. This dress from River Island also comes with that ruffled detail that you'll notice on the one from Love Jack Fancy. The only difference with this one that I felt like really stands out is the sleeves. This one comes with the flutter sleeve. Love Jack Fancy mini styles have a tendency to run small and very short. So for instance, I probably wouldn't even be able to wear this dress unless I got it in a size 12. I got this dress from River Island in a size large and it's a perfect fit. Lengthwise, it's beautiful. It's a perfect summer mini. It has like a elastic band around the waist. This dress would look beautiful either as a beach cover-up or just as a really pretty summer 
day dress or something. It does have a little bit of that sheerness to it. It's a very delicate material. It's not see-through material, but I mean, it's lighter. So I would definitely recommend wearing something nude colored underneath it. It's like I wore just a nude colored bra and nude underwear with it and I was fine, but probably recommend wearing something like this type of shape underneath it. It's just like a just to keep like underwear lines from showing and all that. But since it is summer, I do prefer wearing little slip things like this or like a little white shift dress underneath it, a very light linen one. I felt like I could kind of get away without wearing anything underneath it. But if you do have that little extra layer, I probably would go for it. $78 for a dress that looks and feels designer compared to a $495 dress. I am so excited about this one. This second dress I found a dupe for from River Island is of their classic Natasha dress in the violet color. This is that same delicate cotton feel that I get from the Love Shack Fancy dresses. If you put it on the Love Shack Fancy website, I wouldn't know the difference. So this dress has that um, smocked waist like the Natasha dress does. It also has that ruffled look that's included in this classic style from Love Shack Fancy. The ruffles on this one are longer than the Love Shack Fancy ones, which makes it wearable for me. The detail that is put into this dress, like this looks so expensive. I cannot believe the price point for this dress. It's also a very similar color. Now this one is in a little bit more of a tie dye. There is even embroidery on the ruffles. Like this is the type of dress that has the detail that you have to pay for, you know? Like it's always expensive to find pieces like this. And this one just has all those things that I look for. And this one, you don't have to worry about like shaper or anything because it's in that ruffled style. Don't have to worry about that, which is nice. I love it when you have a dress that's just a one and done. You do have elastic around the sleeves and then elastic around the waist. Just a very comfortable, light dress for the summer. This one from River Island, in my opinion, is much more wearable than the dress from Love Shack Fancy. It's just, those styles always run really small. And if you have a little bit more curve and you have issue with length, this will be a great alternative because it's literally the same thing. A couple little things that are different about it, but still has that detail that I watch for and that I love about Love Shack Fancy dresses. Those are the dresses that I purchased from River Island that I wanted to mention for today's video, but stick around a little bit longer after I mention this next dress because I am going to go over a bunch of styles that I noticed on their website that I actually didn't get a purchase yet, but that I am, well, actually I did already purchase one of them and it's in the mail already, so. This next dress from Love Shack Fancy is the Constantine dress. It's actually from a few years ago, I believe. I'm not quite sure when this dress was made. All I know is I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm assuming it was probably around like 300 to 500. I just did a review with Bohm, which I'm gonna leave that linked above, where I tried on a bunch of their new summer styles. And I found this dress that is very similar in style to this Constantine dress from Love Shack Fancy. This video isn't sponsored by Bohm, but I did do a try on haul that was sponsored and they gave a promo code. So I'm gonna leave that promo code linked down below in my description box for you. If you do like this dress, you can get it 15% off until July 15th. This style from Bohm has the same colorful fretting style on the top of the dress. So it's still in that smocked style like is shown in the picture from Love Shack Fancy. It also has that ruffle detail. And if you wanted to get the square neck like is shown in the picture, you can still do that with this dress. This dress is actually meant to be more of an off the shoulder style. So I like to wear it as off the shoulder, which I believe you could definitely do with this dress from Love Shack Fancy as well. The portion of the dress I'm looking at, it does look like there's embroidery and kind of like a plaid pattern, a very soft pastel plaid pattern on the bottom portion of the dress. This one doesn't have that. It comes with a detailed Swiss style pattern though, and I feel like it's still just very closely resembles this dress. This dress from Balm, I got in a size large and I'm typically a size 10. I feel like anybody from a size eight to 12 could get away with this size large. If you were an eight, I probably would go more towards for the medium, but since you have this smock material right here, it's very easy to fit a couple different sizes in this dress. These are the dresses that I have personally purchased and added to my closet that I wanted to share with you in case you see something, especially since they're still available. I wanted to make sure I got this video up in time, but I also wanted to share a couple styles that I noticed on the River Island website that I would have liked to have purchased for this video, but I do have myself on a budget. So I thought I would just go ahead and pull up these for you and just kind of show you the ones that I personally picked out and that I either plan to purchase or that I want to that are very similar to Love Jack Fancy styles. I will also have these very clearly linked down below in my description box. So I noticed this first dress in some of their new arrivals and I mean, what 
stood out to me, of course, was that pink color, but it does have that smock style on the front. I love the square neck with the straps, and it's got that ruffled hem at the bottom. It's a nice, loose dress, but wait till you see the back of it. It has a bow in the back, and that just made me think of a Love Shack Nancy dress. Like, that's a detail that would be included in one, you know? So there's also a couple different colors of this dress if you don't like pink like I do. It's also $65 for this. I feel like it's a really reasonable price. I can't speak for it 100%, but overall, I've been very pleased with quality that I've gotten from River Island. So I would say it's a really nice dress, and if I can get the chance to purchase it, I will. So you may or may not be seeing this in a future video. But this next dress has the detail that you get in a Love Shack Fancy style. Like if I didn't know that this dress was from River Island, I would assume that it was from Love Shack Fancy. It just looks like a style from there. I feel confident getting mini styles from River Island now that I've tried out a couple of their mini styles. They're just so much more wearable. If you look really closely at the hem of the eyelet detailed embroidery style on the bottom of the dress, it looks like it has little hearts embroidered into it. Like it's very detailed. I was really impressed with this one. This third piece that I noticed on their website, this is something that you would find on the Love Shack Fancy website with the florals, the smock style, but specifically that sleeve. Looking at the front of this picture, it just looks like a really comfortable piece and the softer florals are really pretty too. And a lot of the Love Shack Fancy styles have like that really pretty smock style with the ruffled detail around the neckline and this one has that. As of today, as I'm putting this video up, it looks like all the sizes are still available for it. So, okay, so I also noticed this top, the white floral cut organza shirt. This one is the type of blouse that you would have to wear something underneath it if you wanted, like unless you like the, the bra look. I feel like I can get away with that look sometimes if I just wear like a high-waisted piece. Eyelid styles can get really expensive and this top, has that detail that goes into designer pieces. And once again, this top is also available in all sizes as I'm making this video, so hopefully they'll still be available. But like $78 for a shirt like this is much better than what you would get at Love Shack Fancy. This last one I ended up buying right before I made this video. But this is the pink floral puff sleeve top and the price point for this one I felt was really good. I'll be able to give you better detail once I get it in the mail. It has that ruffled style, the floral watercolor, very Victorian. I'm not sure what the material is going to be like. I can definitely give you an update once I get it, but I mean, just looking at it, it's definitely something that I know I will get wear out of, and it is more of a cropped style from what I can tell. I also have been looking for that puff sleeve style in my closet and I just haven't found one that I felt sits on me right. So I'm really hoping that this one is going to sit right. I've been really happy with the sizing from River Island. I found them to run true to size. I will for sure update you on that blouse. You'll probably see it in another video, but I just wanted to mention those because I was really excited about them and I do plan to add them to my closet slowly as I can, which I actually need to step away from the website here a couple days and just give myself a break. I've been on there too much and I'm gonna end up going over my budget. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful, just kind of brightened your day. But I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.